Hello guys, it's uh, Mr. Sweeney again. Yep, this time I'm chatting about DT. Okay, so uh, you got some work in your pack for DT. Just, sorry, just looking for it now. Okay, so what you got is um, product analysis. Okay, so you've got to analyze a product. Okay, it's quite a lot of work to that, so I don't expect you to do it all at once. Okay, so the first thing you've got to do is choose something in the home that you want to analyze. Okay, now you're, you've got a sheet, so this is the front page of the sheet. Okay, and you will see if I hold it up. Okay, you've got your name on there. And the first question is, what is it? So just, well, what is it? Is it a hairdryer? Is it a lamp? Is it a table? You know, whatever it is, you know, choose something that's fairly interesting. Um, and then there's a series of questions. Okay, it, um, I'm gonna have to, I can't read for that. It says, um, materials, what's it made from? Well, you know, it might be made from several different things. Okay, so just list as best you can. Um, what you know, and if you know, like, like, let's say it's made of metal. If you know it's made of aluminium, then write that down. If you're not sure, then you know, use the internet. Take a look, see if you can figure out what it's what it's made from um, on the internet. Okay. Um, just a tip here. Sometimes on Amazon uh, product description, it will even give you some some details of the materials there. Anyway, so you've got there materials. Um, and then is the question, describe the properties of the materials. So um, I've, I've put one of these sheets in for you, okay, that will give you some, uh, some help there about properties of materials. Is it rough? Is it smooth? Is it flexible? Okay, um, all sorts of things, but be as thorough as you can, okay? And if it's made of more than one material, then you're gonna to have to sort of talk about the properties of those. I mean, does it conduct electricity? Um, is it an insulator? All that sort of stuff. Uh, the next question is quite easy. What does it do? Okay, it's function. What's its job? And um, that should be fairly straightforward. And then you've got another section. How does it work? Okay, so um, I want you to try and describe uh, how it works and, and how it's used. Okay, so there's two things there, really. Again, it's, you might need the internet. It's quite a challenging question, that one. But, um, you know, chat to people at home. Um, think about stuff before you, you know, and, and have a look on the internet. Okay, there's quite a bit there. I mean, that might be, that I've just described to you, um, a couple of days' work. You know, you might just want to do 10 or 15 minutes each day. Okay, so... Um, or, or spread it across, you know, uh, a couple of weeks. So once you've done all of that stuff, then, yep, you got it. It's sketching, okay? So it's drawing a picture of it, okay? I don't expect it to look a photograph. I don't expect you to be the best artist in the world, but do have a go, have a try. I mean, you can always practice on scrap paper first, okay? And then when, you know, if you're happy, trace it or, but, you know, have a go, just give it your best shot. Add a bit of colour. You could add some labels to your pictures as well. Um, and then a few more things. Who's who's the customer? Who's going to buy this thing? I mean, if it's in your house, you have, or somebody in the home has. And um, and why did they buy it? You know, is it because it looked nice? Is it because they like the brand? Is it because you needed one to dry your hair or whatever it might be? Okay. Um, how much does it cost? Okay, well, that's fairly straightforward. If you're not sure, again, get on the internet, take a look at Amazon, get a variety of prices, or is, it, is that cheap or expensive? Now, question like that, so if I bought a Ferrari for a thousand pounds, you go, wow, that's cheap. Well, a thousand pounds is a lot of money, um, but it's cheap for a Ferrari. If I bought, I don't know, a, a golf ball for a thousand pounds, well, that'd be an expensive golf ball, wouldn't it? So again, you know, you've got to think about that a little bit. And then finally, um, there's a question about the environment, okay? Because we need, we need to consider whether products are sustainable or not, whether they're good for the environment, and that would be, you know, the materials that uh, they're made from, Hey, the thing was made, you know, it might be made from using a process that's, that's really damaging. Again, the internet is your friend there, so you need to look out. So, all in all, there's quite a bit of work there, all right? And probably, you know, you could probably spread that over maybe two weeks, okay? You're going to have a couple of these sheets, so there might be enough there for several weeks' work, all right? So, don't try and do it all at once. 
do do your best. Be proud of your work and, um, you know, do a little bit each time. Have a rest, maybe go on to do a little bit of maths after that or something like that and then come back to it. But I'd be so pleased if you could produce those couple of sheets um, and it'll be interesting and you'll learn stuff, you know. Anyway, that's me done. Um, check out Mr Sweeney channel again because there might be some more videos coming up for you and, uh, and I hope you get on all right with all of that. Okay, I'll see you later. Take care now. Bye bye.